Hello everyone. As always, I hope you are having a nice day. Alright, bear with me here because I have yet another story that leads into the topic of this video. Back in primary school, I had my normal class with my teacher, but sometimes also had a breakout session with this other teacher and five other kids. And not gonna lie, I really didn't like doing that. It wasn't necessarily the process of being with fewer kids to focus on learning more, it was my freaking teacher. I don't know why, but I always felt like this teacher purposely picked on me for no reason. And one time, there was a subject on, you guessed it, the black vulture. We were discussing how vultures are scavengers rather than hunters and all that good stuff. But I also made a comment saying that if it really came down to it and there were no other options, a vulture will hunt in order to eat food and stay alive. But no, my teacher was like, nope, there are only scavengers, blah, 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 you're dumb. Well, guess what, teacher? Welcome to the everything you need to know about the Black Vulture video, aka the video I'm about to expose you with, cuz... Although the Black Vulture mostly eats carrion, which are carcasses of dead animals of all sizes, at times, the Black Vulture will also eat eggs of other birds, turtles, and lizards. They may kill and eat young of some birds, sea turtles, and sometimes even the newborn young of larger mammals. They're also open to eating plant material, such as coconuts and rotting vegetables. So generally, their scavenger nature isn't limited to dead animals, and extends to almost any vulnerable live species and dead plant life. However, don't get me wrong, the main diet and for the black vulture is carrion. Moving on to some more behavioral traits of the black vulture, we have their relations to similar species. Although the black vulture's sense of smell aids them greatly in finding a food source, the turkey vulture has a far superior sense of smell. Black vultures often rise later in the morning than the turkey vulture and may actually follow that species because of this. During the day, black vultures soar in flocks, often with turkey vultures and hawks. Their flight style is distinctive with overall strong wing beats followed by short glides giving them a bat-like appearance. You can find them along highway margins, eating roadkill, as well as picking through dumpsters. They roost in groups in trees and transmission towers, typically waiting through the early morning for the air to warm up and for thermals to develop. A thermal is a column of rising air caused by uneven heating of the earth. To understand how vultures use thermals, here is a graphic published on an audubon.org article showing a griffin vulture's ascent. Colors track air temperature changes as the bird sails on a thermal, up to a vantage point of 2,200 feet. This lofty view allows the raptor to scout out carcasses to scavenge. Although the currents the bird is flying on are tornado shaped, the size of the loops are adjusted here to be the same width, emphasizing directional changes. Typically, thermals are small and weak near the ground forcing vultures to keep turns tight, as seen in number one. As the thermals heat up, they get larger and give the bird more room to move, as seen in number two. At the thermals end, the bird sails off in search of the next ride, as seen in number three. Wiggly lines or overlapping circles indicate the vulture is struggling to stay on the thermal and in flight. Overall, this can be considered a lazy behavioral trait but it makes sense because vultures conserve a lot of energy when using this technique. Now, let's focus on the black vulture's relations with other black vultures. In courtship display, they may spiral high in the air. On the ground, the male may walk in circles around the female with neck extended and distinctive hissing sounds. The nest site is on the ground in a thicket, inside a hollow log, in a large tree cavity up to several feet above the ground, in a cave, or sometimes in an abandoned building. They breed from late January to August and have a clutch of usually two eggs. The eggs are pale gray-green and blotched with brown, with usually one egg of the clutch being more heavily marked than the other. Both the male and female incubate the eggs for 37 to 41 days and feed the young by regurgitation. The young remain in the nest for about 60 days and are capable of flight in about 75 to 80 days but may be partially dependent on their parents for several more months. They are highly social birds with fierce family loyalty. Since I wasn't able to get to the black vulture's physical attributes in the beginning, let's go over them now. 
With sooty black plumage, a bare black head, and neat white stars under the wingtips, black vultures are almost dapper. Whereas turkey vultures are lanky birds with teetering flight, black vultures are compact birds with broad wings, short tails, and powerful wing beats. Black vultures have long, hooked bills that are designed for tearing pieces of food. They will often insert their head completely inside the carcass they are cleaning up. Like all other vultures, the black vulture's head is bald because bits of carrion do not adhere to the skin as they would to feathers. Another interesting fact about the black vulture's head is the differences seen between the adult and juvenile. In the adult, the bald skin of the head is more gray compared to the juvenile's dark black head, and the juvenile also has rougher feathers near the head. Vultures lack the powerful feet that are characteristic of other raptors like eagles and hawks. They have long toes with blunted talons, which are easier for walking. Turkey vultures will often place one or both feet on their food when eating, but black vultures typically do not use their feet when feeding. The legs of vultures are usually coated white due to the dried uric acid of their excrement. Vultures will mute, aka excrete waste onto their legs for two different purposes. In warm weather, muting on their legs serves as part of their thermoregulation. It helps to cool down their body temperature. When vultures step into a carcass, touching possibly contaminated flesh, they risk tracking bacteria around on their legs. The vultures will excrete onto their legs, and the highly acidic uric acids kill off bacteria and toxins that may be on the bird's legs. Finally, here is the range map for the black vulture. I believe that ends my quest to tell you everything you need to know about the black vulture. But if there is anything I forgot, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, I hope you found yourself learning something new and enjoying the video. And if you did, please consider subscribing. Not only is it free, but it helps out the channel a lot. But either way, make sure you always stay true to what you believe, no matter the backlash you receive. I'll see y'all in the next video.